In this video, you will learn how to find the solution for knapsack problem using memory functions. In the previous video, I have discussed how to find the solution for knapsack problem using bottom-up approach. So here, the algorithm name is V and I and G are the parameters passed here. I indicates the items and J indicates W that is capacity of the sack. Initial value for i and j is n and w and global uh, variables w, small v and capital V is used. Small w and v are weights and values of n items and w, uh, sorry, v stores the result of the problem. So initially all the entries is initialized with value minus 1 in the table capital V, 0 through and 0 column initialized with value zeros. If V i j is less than 0 and if j is less than W i, that means capacity of the sack is less than the weight of the ith item, in that case value will be V i minus 1 comma j. That is whatever value you have earned by considering i minus 1 items with capacity j, the same value is retained for the ith item. Otherwise, that means if you can able to accommodate the ith item into the sack, look at whichever is maximizing the value that you have to consider. Whether by accommodating the ith item into the sack or without accommodating, so whichever is maximizing the value, that value you have to consider. So, without accommodating the ith item means uh, v of i minus 1 comma j. <coughs> if you accommodate the ith item into the sack, then you have to find out the value v i plus v i minus 1 comma j minus w i. So, maximum of these two values is assigned to value. So, finally v i j will be equal to value. Return the v i j value. So, for the same instance, we will apply this memory function algorithm and find out the solution using the algorithm. So initially all the entries is equal to minus 1 except 0 through and 0 column. Next, you are required to find out VNW because our objective is to find what is V4, 5. So, V4, 5, if you want to find out, then you need to know what is V3, 5 and V3, 3. In order to find out V3, 5, you need to know what is V2, 5 and V2, 2. Similarly, V3, 3, in order to find out that, you need to know what is V2, 3 and what is V2, 0. Similarly, in order to find out these three values, you are required to know all these values. Then only you can able to find the value of B45. So initially the algorithm will be called for B45. So the same thing is traced here. B45 is equal to maximum of B35. So value of the fourth item is 15. 15 plus V3 comma J minus WI. That is 5 minus Weight of the fourth item is 2, that is 3. Next, in order to find out V4, 5, so V3, 5 you are required to calculate and V3, 3 you are required to calculate. V3, 5 is equal to maximum of V2, 5, comma, 20 plus V2, 2. So V2, 5 is calculated like this. V1, 5, 10 plus V1, 4. Then V15 is maximum of V05, 12 plus V03. V14 equal to maximum of V04, 12 plus V02. And these two values, V15, V14 is 12. So substituted value, you can get the value for V25, it's equal to 22. <coughs> now you are required to find out V2, 2. V2, 2 is equal to maximum of V12, 10 plus V1, 1. It's equal to 12, 12, 10. 
the maximum is 12 and v12 is 12 and v11 is 0. So, uh, substitute this value here v35 can be found like this. So, maximum of v25 already we found the value is equal to 22 and 20 plus v2 comma 2 is 12. So, maximum of these two values is 32. Now, you are required to find out what is v3 comma 3. v3 comma 3 is nothing but v2 comma 3 20 plus v20 because weight of the third item is 3. So, 2, mi 2 comma j minus 3 that is 3 minus 3 is 0. Then in order to find out v33 you need to know what is v23. v23 can be found like this max 1 uh, v13 10 plus v12 then v13 can be found like this. So once you got the value for v13 and v12 substitute that values that is v23 is 22 v33 is 22 substitute that value here so v35 is 32 15 plus value of v3 comma 3 is 22 so maximum of these two value is 37 so we have found the value of with this, we have found the value of V N W O that is V4, 5. In order to find out which items is being included in order to optimize the uh, in order to optimize the value, we'll, we need to backtrack in this table so that you will come to know which items is being included into the SAC in order to get this value 37. So 4, 5 that is v4 comma 5 is it same as that of v3 5 no it is not same so item 4 is included into the sack when item 4 is included into the sack with weight 2 then the left capacity is 3 now check v3 comma 3 is it equal to v2 comma 3 it's same therefore item 3 is not included then check for v23 that is second item whether it is included or not for that v23 here it's not equal to v13 v13 is 12 it is not the same so item 2 is included item 2 weight is 1 so left out capacity is 2 here again check for item 1 item 1 with weight 2 whether you can accommodate or not that you are required to check here v12 is 12 it's not equal to v02 so I, item 1 is included into the set so left out capacity now it's equal to 0 so when you backtrack here here these two are not same item 4 is included when item 4 is included the now the left out capacity is 3 only so consider 3 whether it can be included or not it cannot be because item here v3 comma 3 is same as that of v23 so not included now check for v23 v23 is not same as that of v13 so v2 is included here uh, that is uh, item 2 is included and uh, when you have included item 2, the left out capacity is 2. Check for V12. V12 is not same as stuff V02. So, item 1 is not, uh, sorry, item 1 is included. So, therefore, the optimal solution is item 1, item 2, item 4. When it is included into the sack, you can get the optimal value that is equal to 37. You can write in the vector format also. 1101. This is the optimal solution you are going to get whenever you include item 1, 2, and 4 into the set. One interesting thing you can find out here. So, here uh, we have computed only 11 values 
instead of all 20 values. In earlier case, that is in bottom up approach, in order to find out this 37, you need to compute all 20 values. But here, it's enough if you compute 11 values, that is half the values what you have computed in the earlier case. So with that, you can optimize the time required to find the solution. In that way, memory function is most efficient compared to bottom-up approach to find the solution for knapsack problem. Here, the time complexity is again in theta of nw. That is, number of computation is still less than n into w and uh, memory required is n into d n into w only but in order to find the composition that is which items is being included into the sack you are required to do n computations so obviously the optimal solution that is the time needed to find the composition of an optimal solution is theta of n only.